everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Uh, on the left we have Android KitKat. Over here we have Android Lollipop. Uh, this is the newest update that's coming this week to the tablet. And this is the version it came with when it was leech, uh, released earlier this year. The, the, the newest update before it was updated to Lollipop. Now what we're going to do here is some basic tests just to show you how fast the device is going one compared to the other. Uh, most of the time, you're going to see them end up looking really, really similar. Uh, the biggest differences in the uh, UI right from the beginning, you'll see, are in the amount of space you have between icons. You have the same amount of space, basically, on the bottom here, the same along this side, but over here you have the space for five apps, over here you have space for six. It's a little bit more smashed in here. This is spaced uh, more correctly. Uh, inside your Google Apps, you'll see that there is a slightly more easy to look through set of icons here. Here they're on black, which is nice uh, for your eyes. Like We'd rather this be able to be on black. Uh, the same is true with the app drawer down here, but uh, here they, they just don't seem as cohesive. Google's new uh, design uh, with material design makes it look a lot better. Makes it look cleaner, flatter, and just nicer in general. If you go into the app drawer here, I'll go back here, here. Uh, you'll see what I was just talking about where we have it's bright white uh, which is hard on the eyes you know and uh, especially if you're going to be playing on the device in a dark space uh, but it does look better with the icons made by Google as you can see we have some different apps in here because they're obviously different they're different states right now but again the spacing looks a lot nicer here than it does over here if I go back out to the front you'll see if I pull down from the top here once or twice because I have it set to full screen mode, you'll see that uh, things show up a little bit differently. On the right, you'll see that we have our notifications. We have the ability to dismiss them here, and then that's it. We can see what our time it is. Here we have basically that same amount of stuff, but if we want to get to our next screen, instead of pulling up there, we have to get rid of this one and pull down on the right. And that's the screen that you're about to see right here. This one allows you to do that just by pulling down twice from anywhere on the screen like that. You can also pull down once and then tap on the top and get to the same controls like that. Inside settings, it's another uh, different situation here where we have white instead of black. Things are also aligned in two columns if you're in portrait mode here rather than just one and it looks a lot nicer.